Does talk about money and budgets leave you feeling like this? Let us help. We're artists. Artists are good at showing things in a new light. Let's start with the Vermont Arts Council's budget. Are you ready to have a light bulb moment in less than three minutes? The Vermont Arts Council gets the majority of its funding from two sources, the state of Vermont and the federal government. The state's current appropriation to the Arts Council is $507,607. That's pretty much the same amount the Council has been getting from the state since 1992. This year, the Arts Council asked Governor Peter Shumlin for an increase. The Governor said, mm, I can do $717,607. And the Arts Council said, yeah. That, that's good, but isn't that less than the Arts Council asked for? So why do we like it? Because annually, that's about how many federal dollars the Arts Council gets from the National Endowment for the Arts, also known as the NEA. And this year, the state of Vermont needs to match that dollar amount or the Arts Council will see every unmatched dollar head back to Washington, D.C. Shouldn't all that money stay in Vermont where it helps pay for the studio where a local artist designs sets for a show? The bus that takes Vermont students to see that show? The renovated theater space? The teaching artists? The actors, stagehands, and musicians? Programs at Burlington City Arts, Catamount Arts, Vermont Arts Exchange, Rattleboro Museum and Arts Center, and dozens more all over the state. Remember, the governor recommended $717,607. The Vermont House has recommended $607,607. That means federal dollars are at risk of returning to Washington, D.C. What will the Vermont Senate do? Now it's up to them and you. The Vermont Arts Council supports the governor's recommendation. You can support it too. Go to www.vermontartscouncil.org to find out how you can help and keep Vermont a state of the arts. Mm -hmm.